This is a black belt, and he's a seven-time world champion. And today, he's gonna be fighting 50 white belts. And whichever one of these white belts lasts the longest, they'll be winning $1,000. Now it's time to bring up our first contender. So what are you planning to do with $1,000, man? It's my birthday today, so maybe I'll go to the casino. I hope to last the longest, but time will tell. The birthday boy is up. Let's see what he's got. The question isn't if he's going to be able to beat him. The question is how long can he last against the black belt? The birthday boy goes for a single leg takedown. The black belt shuts it down and takes him to the ground. The bird that was trying to get up and get out, but the black belt already has his ankle in a difficult position and looks like he just got an ankle lock submission. Since there are no breaks allowed, the black belt must go on his second round right away. Fight number two is now underway. The white belt goes for a single leg and the black belt throws him over using his own weight. He lasted the longest so far. Yo! ends up in a dominant position in a full mount. He ends up going for some kind of choke, but then switches it over to what looks like an Americana. Is he gonna get it? Yes, he is, and he gets a tap. One minute, 20 seconds. So far, since he lasted the longest, the money is his. He has $1,000 until somebody else takes him over. The white belt goes down voluntarily, and the black belt takes advantage of it, gets a leg lock, and is he going to get the tap? And yes, he does. He gets the tap. What? Fight number four is underway. The white belt is going aggressive. You can see the black belt is already starting to get tired. The white belt is turning around, gets his back. It's not looking good. Are you scared he's going to take your spot? <laughs> back to the fight. The white belt takes him down. He's about to choke him out. Will he beat him? The black belt turns him around and gets into what looks like a full mount. I think he's gonna go for Maricon and he gets it. Another tab. How did that feel? Dude, it's like wrestling a chunk of granite. So far, the thousand is yours. What would you do with this? Fuck by fireworks. What? Stop. 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 Joao, how are you feeling? Are you nervous? No, I'm just excited. I think on the very beginning we thought like, man, I don't know it's gonna happen, right? Yeah. But we did. I had three weeks to train. I did my very best. Work a lot in my cardio. I'm, I'm not seeing this as a as a fight, right? I'm seeing this almost like a marathon. Yeah. I just wanna spread the word, show you jiu -jitsu. This is honestly looking bad for Joao. He is looking so tired. He's trying to buy time. Honestly, I feel bad, but wait. He looks like he's turning it around. If you saw that movie 300, they were going to, to die no matter what, but they were going with a smile. Oh my God, that was absolutely an insane turnaround. I was completely wrong to not believe that Joao. Joao is the man. He just made it happen with a triangle. The fact that these white belts are choosing to fight the black belt, that is crazy. Just to put it in perspective for you, a black belt usually takes about 10 years to get. That's 10 years of practicing every single day. Are you doing okay, by the way? Yeah. That's fucking scary. I hope it gets better. Huh. What's your name? Jenny. What brought you to jiu-jitsu? I've always been interested in it because I know that self-defense is super important. My work in law enforcement too, so I figured that it would hopefully translate into my job as well. What? Okay, good to know. So what would you do if you won a thousand dollars? Split it halfway with my brother Eli. He was the one that convinced me to go on jujitsu. Thought it might give him like a little bit of a commission. A <laughs> commission, I love that. Tap. 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 You cannot train something like this. No matter who you are, how many titles you have, there's always a challenge. 
So at this point, we decided to bring Sean Baker, or as we call him, the mountain. This guy weighs 260 pounds and he's pure muscle. He's been a powerlifting champion and he's appeared on the Joe Rogan podcast for his extreme diet. Everybody was anticipating this fight. Let's see if I can go in and take advantage of his tiredness. <laughs> All right, just try not to kill me, okay? I gotta go edit this video. Oh, dude. Yeah, where did my... Man, I should have set up a prize for the fastest person to get tapped out. Thank you, bro. <laughs> How are you feeling before the fight? I have no doubts what Joao's going to do. He's a monster. I mean, aside from just his reputation, Ken Adam and Black Belt and everything, he's yeah. very, very technical and really stout, dude. If you won the $1,000, what would you do with it? Probably fix my car. This is my first car I bought when I was 17, and yeah. that's got a bunch of clutch issues, so I got to go in and fix the clutch on that. <laughs> The black belt looks super tired right now. Does he have what it takes to keep going at this point? I honestly don't know. Wait, hold on. Now it looks like the tables have turned and now Eli is in trouble. What the hell's going on? Holy crap, Eli just won't give up. This guy is a beast. Right when we thought Eli was getting the better of him, here's what happens oh, next. Oh, oh. Oh. He gets yeah. tapped oh. out. But Eli, you, you know what that means, right? You get $1,000, man. Great job. And your coach has something to tell you, Eli. So let's talk about something else that Eli's earned. And it's, it's worth more than what he holds in his hand right here. Wow. Great work. How did that feel? I did 50. I would go another 50 for sure. Unfortunately, I don't have more people. If you want to become this f good, like how good these white belts were and everybody that trains here, come to Electric, North Electric Jiu-Jitsu. You'll get this good. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.